A champion is crowned in Chicago, and the top 30 are set for Atlanta to see who will win the FedEx Cup. Settle in as we rewind the week with the latest edition of Monday Backspin from PGATour.com. Hi everyone, I'm John Swantek. The BMW Championship is in the books and Dustin Johnson has served notice that he could be the one to watch in two weeks at Eastlake. Johnson erases all the memories of recent Sundays with the final round 69 to win by a shot over Paul Casey for victory number two on the year. But now he has a chance to take home an even bigger piece of hardware. It feels great. You know, I've had a lot of unfortunate situations happen on Sunday, you know, this year, but I hung in there all day. I played good. I hit the ball really well all day, hit it at all the flags, and, um, you know, it paid off. The top five players now head to Atlanta and East Lake Golf Club, the home of Bobby Jones, with a chance to write their own piece of history. The top five in FedEx Cup points control their own destiny, win in Atlanta, and they win the FedEx Cup. Johnson's victory in Chicago moves him to second in the standings right behind the Barclays champion Matt Kuchar. Charlie Hoffman remains in the top five with his win in Boston. Steve Stricker drops to fourth and Paul Casey, runner-up in Chicago, joins the top five. The top two players in the world ultimately were not in the running for the title in Chicago, but anytime these two are paired together, the golf world is watching. Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson played the final round together with Mickelson getting the best of Tiger with a 67 on a tough day. Tiger would settle for a 70, closing with three birdies over his final five holes, but this would be the last stop in the postseason for Woods. He fails to advance to Eastlake, ending a streak of 14 consecutive seasons with a victory. The last time Tiger didn't post a win, 1995, before he turned pro. So Mickelson is safe for the Tour Championship at Eastlake in two weeks, but Tiger needed the top five finish to move on, and it wasn't to be. So Tiger Woods is out of the top 30. Let's take a look at who advances to East Lake and who just missed out. Nick Watney makes it in, but it was close. All sorts of problems at 18, taking a six at the closing hole, and it nearly cost him. Kevin Struman and Bo Van Pelt have a date in Atlanta for the first time in their career. Bill Haas fails to birdie in the final round. He's out. Ricky Fowler, the newly named captain's pick for the Ryder Cup, has an extra week to rest up after a bogey at the finishing hole. Charlie Wee bogeyed his final two holes. He'll miss out on the field in Atlanta. Four players were on the outside of the top 30 at the start of the week and made moves inside the number. Charlie Wee, Camilo Vijegas, Kevin Na, and KJ Choi. And here's a look at some of the notables missing out on the Tour Championship. Rand Snedeker, 31st to start the week, dropped to 37. A couple of European Ryder Cuppers miss out as well. Rory McIlroy never got it going in Chicago, and Ian Poulter was unable to climb into the top 30 for the second year in a row. Tiger ultimately finishes 42nd, and DJ Singh, who won the FedEx Cup in 2008, finishes outside the top 50. For more from Chicago and his thoughts on the week, here's Michael Collins from the PGA Tour Network on Sirius XM Radio. That's what the playoffs all about right there, Swanee, isn't it? What an amazing week at the BMW Championship. Now, the thing I'm going to take away from it didn't happen on the golf course. It happened off the golf course. Why do I love this BMW Championship so much? Man, we was racing BMWs earlier this week. That's right. They let some players and even some of us from Sirius XM. But look back on the tournament a little bit. How about the Sunday? Mickelson, Woods, in the same group together, world's number one and world's number two, they're not even in the tournament. They don't got a chance to win whatsoever, but what happens? Biggest crowd probably of the year following the two clash of the titans. Hey, the BMW Championship was everything the playoffs is supposed to be. Drama coming down to the end. You had a guy like Dustin Johnson who had two opportunities at major championships earlier in the year. He's fighting to try and get it done. Now we're going to the Tour Championship, 30 dudes with a chance to win the FedEx Cup, but top five hold their destiny in their own hands. And that's all you want going into the Tour Championship in Atlanta, isn't it? You gotta remember, you gotta catch all of our action. We're gonna have every single second of it for you on the PGA Tour Network, Series 209, XM 146. All right, thanks, Michael. We're all set for the Tour Championship beginning September 23rd at East Lake in Atlanta. For everything you need to get set for the final playoff event, Stay right here at PGATour.com.